All right, you're thinking about moving to Boca Raton. Well, in this video, we're gonna go over the eight things that you need to know before moving to Boca Raton, so let's get after it. My name's Andy Mandel, I'm a broker associate with Remax Advisors, and if this is your first time to the channel, this is where we go over everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, working, playing, and enjoying the beautiful South Florida lifestyle. So if that interests you, make sure you subscribe to our channel and tap that bell icon so you get notified every time we do a new video. Honestly, we get so many calls, texts, and emails every single day from people who are moving here to South Florida, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move to beautiful Boca Raton or any of the surrounding cities here in South Florida, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can even send a smoke signal or carrier pigeon. However you want to communicate, we got your back when moving to South Florida. So let's get into it. The eight things you need to know before moving to Boca Raton. Number one is housing. We have a lot of country clubs here in Boca Raton and in some of the surrounding cities. So if you're looking on websites like Zillow, Realtor.com, stuff like that, you're gonna see a lot of properties that look like they're very inexpensive and it's a really good value for the money, but it turns out they're in these country clubs. So how that works is most of the country clubs have an initial one-time payment of about $60,000. Now that is money you have to pay in cash, in full, prior to closing. You cannot finance it or roll it into your mortgage. So you have to pay that in addition to the price of the house. And then every year, there are annual fees that are gonna be determined based on the type of membership that you get, whether it's social or golf, you have to pay the annual fees as well. But depending on the club, they typically end up running somewhere between 15 all the way up to $30,000 per year. So those are recurring fees that you're gonna pay every year. So while the home may seem like it's a good value, when you factor in all the other fees that are associated, it becomes way more expensive. And they don't tell you this kind of stuff when you're looking on websites like Zillow. So that's something you really gotta be careful for. All right, so the second thing you need to know is about the beaches here in Boca Raton. So we have three public beaches, but you need a parking pass in order to park there and go to those beaches. Now the parking passes cost $62 per year. You have to show that you're a Boca Raton resident with your driver's license and like a water bill in order to get the parking pass but that gives you access to the three, beach, the three beach parks that are in Boca. If you live in West Boca, technically you are not considered a Boca Raton resident, you are a Palm Beach County resident, so you can only go to one of those beaches, which is South Beach Park. Uh, if you don't want to pay the $62 and you don't wanna to go to those parks, what a lot of people do, and I do it myself, you end up going to Deerfield Beach. They got a brand new pier, they're redoing all the downtown area. That's you know more of a, a public beach, so to speak. It's literally two minutes farther down the street, just south of the Boca Raton border. Um, there's a lot going on there. It's a really, really nice area, a nice beach. So a lot of people who live in Boca will just end up going there anyway. Uh, but you do get the option if you want a little bit more seclusion and you know a private feel, you can get the parking pass and go to the Boca Raton beaches. Number three, we have excellent schools here in Boca Raton. We get a lot of families who are moving and relocating from, you know, the Northeast, New York, New Jersey, Long Island, you know, wherever it may be, and they're bringing their family down here. Schools are excellent in Boca Raton. It's an excellent place to raise a family. All the schools are, you know, at least an eight out of 10, if not nine or 10 out of 10, excellent rated schools. You know, you live in these very nice neighborhoods. There's a lot of kids hanging around. So it's a really good place to raise a family. Your kids are gonna get a quality education. Also, if you're moving down and your kids are a little bit older and they may wanna be go to college down here, we have FAU located right in Boca. We have University of Miami, Florida in Atlantic, Florida Atlantic University, excuse me, in Miami. We have Nova Southeastern in Fort Lauderdale. There are a lot of very good colleges to choose from. So whether your kids are elementary, middle, high school, or even college age, they'll find a very good education here in Boca. Number four is weather. It is very hot here in the summertime, and we're talking from June till September, highs in the 90s, 100% humidity. It's very, very hot. We also have hurricane season, so that's something you're gonna have to learn to be prepared for. Realistically, we haven't been hit with a bad hurricane in a very long time. We've gotten lucky on the East Coast here, uh, but you're gonna have to know how to prepare for a hurricane, so we'll make some other videos in the future about hurricane preparedness tips. Um, but we have very, very, very good weather from like November to March, April time. It's, you know, highs in the 70s or 80s, so we have really nice weather in the winter time. It's good weather, it's sunny all year round in the summer, uh, just a little bit hotter, a little bit more humid. And in the summer, you can almost count on it. Every day for about 30 to 45 minutes, you'll get a, a rainstorm between you know one and three o'clock, sometime in the afternoon on the dot. It rains almost every day in the summer. 
But other than that, unless we're having a big, you know, some sort of tropical storm or hurricane, the weather is really, really nice. You just gotta get used to the humidity. Number five, we have a great food culture here in Boca. We got a ton of restaurants, all the types of cuisines you could ever want. Greek, definitely a ton of very good Italian, uh, Indian food, Chinese food, you name it. We have all sorts of really good, high quality restaurants. We have the, the chain restaurants as well. If you want something a little bit more casual, just a, a quick, nice burger. We got great burger joints. Uh, there's, if you go to Meisner Park on the weekends, you know, we'll have food truck festivals. There's all sorts of food culture going on down here. Um, you know, it's, it's a really good place if you like very good restaurants. Number six, we're located near three international airports. So if you were going out of the country, you could fly out of Palm Beach International, which is about 40 minutes or so north of Boca Raton. You could fly out of Fort Lauderdale International or Miami International. So if you're planning on uh, going on a vacation, make sure you check out all three airports, see which gives you the best deal. Sometimes certain airports flying out of the country will get better deals. Um, sometimes locally, if you're staying domestic, uh, you know, the certain airports have better deals. So make sure you check out all three when you're booking your flights, but we do have a lot of options to choose from when it comes to booking flights with three international airports. Number seven is the proximity to a lot of other really great cities here in South Florida. So Boca's the southernmost city in Palm Beach County, but you're right near I-95, which can take you to West Palm Beach in about 40 minutes. You can go down to Fort Lauderdale, you can go down to Miami. Fort Lauderdale is about 30 minutes away. Miami, maybe 45 minutes to an hour, depending on traffic. Uh, but there's a lot of other great cities all around Boca Raton that you're gonna love and enjoy too. We got Delray Beach, we got Boynton Beach, we got Parkland. There's so much going on around Boca. You're really gonna love South Florida. It's a quick trip to just about any of the great cities here. And number eight, it's sports teams. If you like sports, South Florida has you covered. Whether you're a hockey fan, we got the, the Florida Panthers. If you like football, we got the Miami Dolphins. I'm sorry, you know, I've been a Dolphins fan my whole life. It's been very, very hard, but we still have them. You gotta root for the home team. Uh, for college sports, you got University of Miami. Uh, there's baseball, you got the Marlins down in Miami. So we got all the sports covered here. It's a great place if you like sports. There's always something going on, always a team that you can root for. So those are the eight things that you need to know before moving to Boca Raton. If you have any questions or if there's anything that I can do to help you out with your home search, don't, don't be a stranger. Feel free to reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, slide into my DMs on Instagram or Facebook. However you wanna communicate, we got your back when moving to South Florida. Oh,